James T. Farmer III writes, We Southerners are house-proud people. We devote generations of time and dedicate inheritances and annual income to our homes and gardens. And we open them for weddings, parties, family gatherings, and community events. It is not a brash type of pride, but a wholesome sense of duty to share and include our friends and family. Events may be large or in an intimate setting, but they are a true reflection of us and who we are. Arriving home mends our minds and soothes our souls. Arriving Home, A Gracious Southern Welcome is another stunning book by James T. Farmer III. Once again, he offers beautiful and comforting visuals of his designs. His love of home is generously displayed throughout the pages of this book with beautiful photography by Jeff Hare. Even the end pages give the eye pause so that they can consume every detail. He dedicated this book to his grandfather, in which he says his life was a celebration of faith, family, and love. And for that legacy, he is immeasurably blessed. Farmer shows that traditional style stands the test of time. And by combining classic tastes with fresh approaches can amplify the quality of how many of us live and love in our homes. The homes featured in the book illustrate how high style and relaxed comfort can go hand in hand. The reader is invited to discover antiques mixed with new upholstery collections and art displayed against pattern and textured wall coverings and layers of jute, sisal, and wood as they ground the floors with doses of intentional color that keep these rooms personable. From a grand Connecticut country home to a stately St. Louis house or a columned antebellum Alabama home, Farmer's styles travel the country to set the tone for the lives of his clients. Homes in the city, the mountains, the country, or coastal locations are all reflected in this journey while being rooted in his southern design. In the introduction, Farmer writes, We see our homes and visually note the aesthetics and pleasantries of the colors and materials. We feel the doorknob in our palm, warmed by the sun or chilled by the cold. We smell the comforts of fresh laundry or supper on the stove. We hear the door creak open and shut softly. All these things give us a peace that only home can. In the Southern pantheon of homes, there is a gracious plenty of styles, genres, and size that shape our heritage, our region. They all merit enough beauty that our cities and towns are very specific destinations for many travelers. People journey to see our homes, past and present, eat our food, and stroll through our gardens. This land is rich in architectural specimens, and within these places, we should always strive to make them welcoming and beautiful. This is a beautiful book. I cannot give it enough superlatives. It's 239 pages, hardcover, and retails for $45. I did find it online at eBay and Target for about $30. It's well worth that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms. My next video, I'm going to announce the winner of the book, Vibrant Interiors, Living Large at Home by Andrea Schumacher. I'll also be previewing S is for Style, 
the Schumacher Book of Decoration.